Somebody call the law. Somebody call the law. It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong. What up, though? Heist man, the foe. Talk that talk. Ghetto news and opinions, man. Last Friday was episode 12 of Minutes of the Future. And it was also the birthday of Carl Winslow, who's a cop. So that's why we put together the top cops, man. We just want to do something different, you know. It was 12, so, you know, 12 and it's cops. I was want to say fuck 12, but I ain't want to say that. So I just said, we're going to call it just 12. Call it top cops, you know. This right here, Carl Winslow. Y'all talk about your own, you know, how y'all feel about him. How y'all think about Carl Winslow? Was he a good cop? He was a good father. I don't know if he was a good cop, though. But this is some of the cops I've seen. I just want to, you know, share them with y'all. Try to make a segment out of anything, man. That's how we do over here on this channel. Let's make segments, man. It's all about segments. Chief Wiggums. Everybody know him. Everybody love that cop right there. He a top cop. You pretty dope. It's uh, what's his son, Ralphie? All right, what about Barney Fife and Andy Griffith? Those were some cops, man, back in the day. They was in black. They from um black and white, but they was um from Charlotte, not Charlotte. What was it? Where were they from? Mayberry. Mayberry, North Carolina. They was doing their thing, man. Barney Fife, Don Knotts, Andy Griffith, top cops. Crockett and Tubbs. Everybody love them. Um, me and my sister we used to fight over who used to be Crockett because everybody wanted to be Crockett. Then nobody wanted to be Tubbs. I ain't want to have that Jerry Curl. I want to be Don Johnson. We used to bust through the door. Me and my sister playing uh, Miami Vice. And whoever bust through the door first get to say it. I'm Crockett. He Tubbs. Or I'm Crockett. She's Tubbs. That's how we bust in the door. Boom. I'm Crockett. She's Tubbs. I'm like, no, I'm not. You Tubbs. I'm Crockett. So whoever bust through the door first get to say I'm Crockett. And that's what it was, man. This some just some childhood memories playing with my sister, man. Um Miami Vice. That's how old I am, man. Miami Vice. I'm Crockett. She's Tubbs. No, I'm not. It was funny to me. Starskin Hutch. I never was around for this. I was not that old, man. I don't know no Starskin Hutch. I do remember the remake they made with um Ben Stiller and Owen Wilson. Pretty dope. Snoop Dogg would be in Huggy Bear. So, yeah. Them was some cops, though. Um, Benson and Hedges. Nah, them some cigarettes. I forgot their names. I don't really watch the show. But I do know Ice-T. He in there, too. So, big shout out to them. Um, it's Law and Order. They've they been on TV for about 30 years, too, man. They got some longevity in their job. So, big shout out to them, man. Some top cops, for sure. Ah! Reno 911. Not pictured. I don't have all of them pictured, but this is a funny show, man. It's real funny. Like, him with them short songs was crazy. Like, everybody was funny in the show. This is like a later season. It's like some different cops. Like, two of them. The red one. Back there in the back. And the one the black girl got her arm on. This might have came later in the season. Because all of them not here, man. It was a lot of cops on that show, man. And it was They were funny, man. So, big shout out to them. Reno 911. And we're going to get them that. Give them they do. You gotta give these they do too, man. These brothers right. Yeah, they were funny to me. Um what do you call this show? Super Troopers. This movie. It's a real funny movie, man. I'm, I'm, I think I'm gonna go back and watch this. I haven't watched this in a while. He was some funny cops, man. Or some super troopers. You ever been to Mickey Cole? That shit was funny, man. I'm going back to watch this today, yo. Real talk. I wanna watch that today. Alright. Monk was Monk a cop? They tried to debunk me last night saying Monk wasn't no cop. Well, if, you know, yeah, whenever I did this, breaking the fourth wall, I did this last night. I'm doing this Saturday, but I don't know when I'm gonna put it out. I might put it out Monday or Tuesday if I ain't got nothing else to do. Anyway, Monk is he a cop? I don't know, but he helped the police and he did his thing, man. This is just professional cops I've seen on TV, uh, detectives and all that. Joe Swanson. Joe Swanson was a good cop. Well, how he break his legs, man? It's two stories. I heard he was fighting somebody that fell off a train. Then I heard he was fighting. I seen the episode where he was fighting um, the Grinch. He was fighting the Grinch trying to steal some packages coming out of the chimney. And he jumped up there and fell off the roof. So, I don't know. But he a good cop. 
Oh, uh, Robocop. Robocop with a man, yo. His outfit is off the chain. I love this uniform. Not this uniform, but the 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 patina and all that stuff they got inside of this outfit. This robotic armor he has on. Childhood bibbers right here, man. I had the toys, everything, man. This is dope. This is so dope, man. Murphy. Robocop. Drop it. Do, 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 do. Inspector Gadget. Remember him? I'll catch you next time, Gadget. Next time. Um, Him and his little niece. Penny running around with, with a dog. Inspector Gadget was dope, man. We was talking about this on the show. We was talking about um Matthew Broderick being, you know, being Inspector Gadget in the live action movie. And nobody really liked that either, man. To me, I didn't like it because he was short. He wasn't long enough. So we started trying to recast it. And I came up with um, Kramer. Kramer would have been a great Inspector Gadget, you know, because he long and lanky. And he could have he could have played it off. But it's probably around the same time he was getting into all that trouble saying the N-word on stage. But if it wasn't going to be Kramer, my second pick and should have been my first pick was um, Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey would have killed this role as Inspector Gadget, man. So, y'all just think about it. Anybody else you think could have played this role, y'all let me know. Chips! Um, This is before my time, but I do remember seeing it on TV coming on. on um, what do you call it? In syndication. I think it was on TNT. No, TBS. It used to come on TBS all the time back in the day. So, Chips. Eric Estrada. And what was that? Brian something. Brian O'Neill. I guess it's his name. I forgot. Yeah. I do know Eric Estrada, though. The police on a motorcycle. They was dick holes. Ah. Oh, this right here, man. I would love for him to do a remake of this. This would have been great, yo. And they still can do it because this, this is back in the days when they made movies that had ensemble cast and, you know, like they had a whole ensemble. And they had like eight or nine movies. They, I mean, they lost the plot and all that stuff, but the, the gist of the movie is like, they signed up for Police Academy, it's like a, a group of ragtag people signing up to be a police officer from all walks of life I think this can be remade, yo, I would love to see this done, um, the first question everybody was saying was like, who gonna do the voices, who gonna do the voices, like, you don't need somebody to do the voices, he was just that person who did the voices, but if you want to take somebody who can do the voice, I mean not the voices, but the sounds and everybody like, who gonna do sounds and stuff? Like, probably nobody can do that no more. But if you want to fill that role, you can bring in um, Jay Farrow to do voices. You know, to to act like he's somebody voice over the over the phone to something to do something. You know, he do a good Denzel and Will Smith, and you know, he can do that. He's skinny like him. Um, Steve Gutenberg. Like you can just get people to fill these roles in. Like this is a, a good concept of a movie that can still be done. Um, I think they lost the plot after like three or four citizens on patrol. I think they, <laughs> I think they went to Russia and they started having like one or two of the main characters in the movie and like, hey man, you was a side character. What you doing in the lead? But Police Academy, man, it was dope back then. It was pure, pure wholesome fun as a movie you know it went all this it wasn't over sexualized it wasn't all this all that it was just a, a good movie it's like a good pg-13 movie you can put on and then you can watch it in front of the kids now you gotta be like close your eyes hold up fast forward pause get out you know tv show is different now these cops right here played on futurama when i showed these pictures nobody gave up nothing they was like eh, <laughs> eh. Mm. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Eh, mm, mm, eh. All right. Ah, uh, Lonzo. Lonzo was a good cop. He was so good at being bad that Denzel won an award for this. Big shout out to him, man. I love when Denzel go out of his element and play ghetto roles. Like when he also when he played on um He Got Game. That was good too. And I think um Will Smith would do the same thing. I think Will Smith should play a role as a thug somehow. Not like he did in the Hancock and just being all grimy. He need to have some cornrows going straight to the back with a wife beater on, a cigarette in his mouth, cutting up some dope. 
something like that. That's why I think Denzel, I mean, Will Smith need to come back. These cops right here is from, um, what do you call that show? Squid Billies. I love them, man. They was, it was my favorite. Y'all. It was one of my favorite shows back when it was on. Until they got Tracy Morgan doing the squid voice. It was like, come on, man. What Tracy Morgan doing the squid voice for? I don't know. But yeah, those some good cops. Sheriff and Dink or Dinky or something like that. It was funny to me. Kindergarten cop. What's his name? Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's not a tumor. This was funny, man. I love this movie. It's still a good, wholesome movie. I think they tried to do a remake of it with Dolph Lundgren. I don't know why they use him. But they did a remake of it, Kindergarten Cop 2. I didn't see it. But this was a good movie, man. From back in the days. Back in the like late 80s, early 90s. I actually went to see this movie with my principal in my elementary school. I was a bad student and took me to the movies. And my co-host roasted me for about 10 minutes about him touching me he did not do that they were just making assumptions he ain't touch you did it no he ain't touch me he ain't get touched i was just a bad student and he wanted to do something nice for me he said hey i'm gonna take you out to the movies come on I'm just trying to get you on the right track great dude man great principal and he took me to buy me a toy after that he took me to um toys r us it was the kb toy store it could have been kmart could have been Woolworks. You know, it's, it's old. It was back in the days. It could have been Circuit City. It was one of them old ones. But it took me to get a toy. And it was the um, Ghostbuster toy. The toy you slide on the ground and you catch the monsters. You step on the thing and the, the, open up your... It didn't do all... It didn't do all that, but I had that, man. So big shout out to him. And he took me to see Kindergarten Cop. So I remember that. It's a, he a good cop, though. Um, <laughs> Walker, Texas Ranger, him and Trevette. This was funny to me, man. It was also funny. It was so funny because I find a, a, a gif when I was watching this. Um, this Walker, Texas Ranger, though. But I seen a gif of, um, what's my man's name? Walker, Texas Ranger. It made me laugh because I seen, I don't know, I'm going to show it to you, man. Walker, Texas Ranger kicked the man in the chest Um, through a windshield of a car, yo. Hold on. I, I got it right here, yo. This is so funny to me. I got to show it again, yeah. Look at this, yo. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Come on, man. How can you do that? How can you kick through a windshield of a vehicle? But he did it, man. Walker, Texas Ranger. Played by Chuck Norris. Um That was funny to me, man. The dude like when I seen that episode, man, it was a dude who played Wishmaster. And I was looking at it and I seen them like, get out of here. He did not just kick through a windshield and kick a man right in the chest. He did, yo. Chuck Norris. Carl. Carl. What's his name? Rick Grimes, man. Rick Grimes is dope, man. Um, he was a cop also from The Walking Dead. Did his thing, man. The show went off the hinges, though, when Carl passed away. Then after, like, I, that's what I quit watching. I don't even know Rick died. Rick died later on couple seasons later they ran that damn show to the road it was on amc check it out after carl died i ain't seen no more of it i probably seen like probably five or six episodes after carl died it was like yeah i think they, they i'm done with this i don't even know what else happened the little girl michonne all them people who died who went off daryl dixon the dude with the mullet i don't even know if you're a big walking dead fan you can look at Carl died that episode. Probably two more episodes after that. It was like, yep, Heist Man, he quit right here. That was it for me. Carl. Carl. That's how he used to sound all the time. Ah, Buford T. Justice. I like Buford T. Justice, man. Smokey and the Bandit. He was dope. He a top cop, man. He was, he was chasing Bandit around, man. He was not going to let Bandit keep coming in and out of his town. Racing all fast and stuff. And last but not least, this cop right here, he's not a cop, he's a security guard. But I just had to throw him in because he was kind of funny to me, man. I mean, we ain't, he, that's a lot of cops we missed. But, you know, you can put them down in there like, man, how you forget him? How you forget him? Put it in the comment section. Let me know who I forgot. I forgot a lot of them, though. But this is um, for Martin. This is Martin Lawrence when he played in um, Martin. He played the security guard. He'll fight you, too. So, it's pretty dope, man. But 
that's it, man. It, it was like some, some cop. Like I said, it was it was episode twelve, and it happened to be Carl Winslow birthday. So I had to just make up something to fill in some time. It's like okay, twelve. Carl Winslow. It's the twelfth episode. He twelve. That's what the, the youngsters say. Hey man, fuck twelve. You know, so it's twelve. That's how we do over here, man. There's going to be something like this next week, man. So I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Talking about stuff just like this. Making up stuff. I did this live with my co-host, though. I'm just doing it now as a video just for more content to have on the channel, man. We have a lot of content on the channel. Go check it out, man. Over here, 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 over there, somewhere. It's going to be something. Anyway, I'll let your boy. Heist man the fool. Talk that talk. Ghetto news and opinion. This is a dangerous group that groups that we're dealing with now. All right. This time, but I'll be back. And sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.